when it's the unlikely bands that become the biggest commercial bands, it's always a beautiful thing. It means the, the market is coming to them. They're not changing themselves for the market. They're being themselves. I'm wondering where the day went. The clouds have me shrouded in grey, but I'm still out pounding the pavement. Drowning the herb, I'm pounding around some brown paper. Drowning the label now, drowning in paper. Work went out of cool, I'm down with found an escape from work. I remember, I certainly remember when I first saw Hilt Up Hoods, I never thought an Australian hip hop act could be as big as they are. They were doing things differently to everyone else and that was what I found exciting. It was one of those things where it happened really quickly and they, they weren't a new band, they'd been playing for years before that. I was at Sony at the time, we had a rep in Adelaide and she said there's this hip hop group that's blown up down here. It was quite phenomenal how quickly it, it went with that song Nosebleed section and that really was what put it on the map for the mainstream. I mean, Nosebleed was just such an undeniable single that everyone had to play it. Put me here in my drawers, not for the money and it's not for the applause. No, 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 they accidentally crossed over to, to commercial radio, you know what I mean, by doing quality music that just happened to catch people's ears. It's fun, but it's not lightweight. There's depth to what they're talking about, what they're singing about. And I, I think that's the secret of any artist, is to get, a, get people thinking, not uh, preaching to them. They've opened a lot of doors for people, and particularly I think they've opened people's ears to that style of music as well, because they've realised that, hey, you don't have to be from America to you know, make good good hip hop or rap music, you know. Let's rattle the keys to the kingdom. We came and we can't catch, they playing a pauper. They claim and they want to, they really don't want to. You ain't name it a monster, so don't bother with all for still the day that I die. They were always pretty freaking awesome live. They've always kept real fit and they've always kept uh, very focused on producing a great live show. They're just constantly setting a benchmark. It's ridiculous, like their live show is so intense. And then the last time I saw them last year, Suffer's asking the whole crowd to take one piece of their clothing off. And they're doing it and just smashing it in the air. To conceptualize that in the room and put that on stage and perform it and it be executed as well as it is, is insane. They're wanting to support young Australian acts and bring them up and help them as much as they can with their profile. They're such a driven band, <laughs> which, is, which is fantastic. I mean, to have a gifted band and then have a band which is gifted and so driven, it's amazing. Those guys worked, 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 worked so they could achieve what they have and they, they deserve every single bit of it that's come to them for sure. You can't stay at the top of your game, which to me they are as long as they have without busting your ass every day. They're all super generous and just super talented at what they do and it's, it's proof that they're, they've always been in it for the music. We won't go, no, we won't go, no, we won't go, no, we won't go. You'd think after this much time that you'd be talking like, man, they had a hell of a run. That's the thing with those guys, that it's terrifying what they're capable of. These guys just are doing exactly what they want to do and they're getting better at doing it. I think you'll find Hilltop Hoods will be getting big crowds for the next 20 years. The Hilltop Hoods are in this place now where they are at the pinnacle of Australian hip hop. So not just to be considered, oh, the best in their game in hip hop, but to be considered the best in their game. It's the next chapter, what's on my head?